It's interesting that this building has this written on the side of it, it's, uh, for wisdom's sake, which all men love. And it's pointed at the Congress. You know? um, we've had senators come and use our reading room. Uh, one of them says we're a great place to go when you want to skip a vote. Uh, but that's very interesting. Um, it's very tough to get to know people unless you've spent a lot of time with people. And politics, for sure, is one of those places where you really have to know how far someone's willing to go and when to make a compromise and when to push, when to be theatrical. And that's certainly something Shakespeare saw with Elizabeth I, who was a very self-conscious performer herself. Um, I'm thinking a little bit about this recent debate about the fiscal cliff, uh, which is essentially a kind of brinksmanship. There's a very funny scene in As You Like It where one person says, well, let's get into an insult contest and you know, I'll tell you the many ways I could insult you, but if I cross this one point, you'll be obliged to challenge me to a duel because I've, I've, you know, I've impugned your honor. Uh, and so that point in Shakespeare is when you say, thou liest in the back of thy throat. If you're a gentleman and someone says that to you, you must fight them. So you get all this interesting kind of jostling between aristocrats about trying to insult someone but not quite go over the line. And it's this culture of structured conflict and escalation. And everybody knows exactly how far it can go. And then if someone happens to say this formula, you know, thou liest in the back of thy throat, there's even a way to back out of that which is for the other person to say, well, if you said that I lie in the back of my throat, then. And uh, there's this brief comment, much virtue in if. Uh, Shakespeare really knew about how people use words to get under each other's skin, how to fight with them, and then how to back away with them. 